Hello, welcome back, everybody. Um, this is going to be a quick review of the Leatherman arc. Um, <clears throat> but before we kind of get into this guy, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons. It's not my normal kind of video, so this is going to be a shorter review than most. Just because there's not a ton to say. <clears throat> and I am under the weather, so if you hear me coughing or any noises, then you know. Uh, but before we go ahead and get into it, please subscribe. Please like the uh, Facebook page and follow the Instagram. And that's okay. So that's one of the things. Size comparisons. What's a good size comparison? And I think maybe I have a silver sharpie just for kicks and giggles. There we go. And then <clears throat> a pen. There we go. And there is that to to make the size comparison there. Um a Blade battery right here. Just so you can kind of tell the size. It's this, and if you have a Leatherman uh, P4, it is exactly the same footprint when it comes to overall measurement here. Um, so if you have that, it's exactly the same. Now, just compared to like the Rat One. Rat one very very similar size very good size comparison because most of you probably have the rat one or the rat two I do not have the rat two but haven't felt the need to ever get one okay first things first um, and as of right now it is not as smooth as my um, P4. Um, and it might just need time to break in. <clears throat> it is still very smooth. Um, like, you can still kind of, you can still, like, whoop, it's hard to do with the camera here. You can still, uh, see, it's, you can still do that if you have the momentum. So if I'm here, I'm disengaged. There we go. Just took a little extra oomph not to hit the camera, not to hit the table. Still kind of managed to hit the table. <clears throat> if you'll notice, um, the blades on this one are black. Um, and I might post a picture later after this review. Um, that these particular blades that I had to replace were fine, they were okay, um, but I blew them up, so there's that, you know, hit a, hit a live wire, it happens. <clears throat> the good note is I was wearing rubber gloves, so that might be part of it. There's just the blades got nicked. Um, I don't know if there's any residual there is right there if you can see right in there see that little kind of melting yeah that was from it but it didn't affect any function at all um so this is very smooth um i have used every tool pretty much in here during grime i'm trying to think if there's any tool I've used this, I have used this, um, solar inverter, this was actually pretty useful, um, all, I haven't, I've used it maybe once briefly, um, and I have used the scissors quite a bit, still works just fine, um, 
blade. I have used a decent amount. Let's see, do I have anything I can cut just to show? It has still kind of held up. Well, it's definitely held up. some stropping might need to happen and that won't be too bad at all easy to do this guy right here haven't used at all that's the one I haven't used actually I would say <clears throat> now the saw on this guy I've used quite a lot the saw is probably the most used thing other than the mitten cutters um, if you're wondering yes does work and it works pretty darn well <clears throat> um, this works with our normal bits this one's stubby <clears throat> also works for that Ta -da. <coughs> sorry about that but <clears throat> I would recommend, I don't have it on me, um, to get the ratcheting one. It'll make everything easier. But if you want this, something like this, this does work pretty darn well. <coughs> but yeah, that, I mean, there's not really much else to say <coughs> other than this is <coughs> the best multi-tool leatherman you can get, to be honest with you. It has everything you need. <coughs> Again, sorry about that. Jeez. Um... <coughs> just don't know like there's not much else really to say about it it works really well in every facet <coughs> my favorite thing personally from it over the, the p4 is this guy uh full-sized file super useful i mean you still have this that's super useful again this right here also <coughs> over the P4. The P4 has a dedicated Phillips and a dedicated flathead and that's it. You can't switch out the bits. Um, but having the bit driver is great. <coughs> Makes it even better. I'll apologize for all the coughing. Um, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I wanted to get this review out of here, out because well, let's record because I knew this was something I kind of needed to do. Um, I don't normally review these guys a ton, but cutters are great. The actual pliers themselves are great. I've had no issue at all. In fact, I use them all the time I have not used a crimper um, I tend to <coughs> use it use a dedicated crimper um, on the job site so I don't really pull this guy out to crimp um, not really needed at all 
but um, honestly, if you don't know what Letterman to get, this is this is the one I would. If you were to get Eddie Letterman, honestly, this is what I would get. Unless you want a specialized Letterman, that's different. But if you are looking to get an all-around great Letherman, totally, this is what I would do. One hundred percent. Great blade. Great steel on the blade. That's that's a plus. Bottle opener. If you need one, you got your pit driver. Got your saw, which is probably my most used or second most used, other than the pliers themselves. <clears throat> and I would say I use scissors. No, no, I use the file and then I use the scissors. <coughs> All in that order. I'm gonna cut this to usage, how much I use everything. Um, everything has stayed even with pretty heavy use, has stayed in its lane pretty well. have had no issues with that. Um, in past other men's, I've had issues with that. Um, with it getting, you know, caught on the track or getting out of track slightly. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no, no issues. Uh, the only one thing I'm waiting on really is for this to smooth it out a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm just waiting for this to smooth it out, and maybe that's just gonna take time. That's probably what it is. But as you can tell, right here, it stops because on my P4, that 100% would continue and close. But. It really doesn't matter because it'll it'll smooth it out because like it's super smooth. See, there you go. I mean, <clears throat> one thing too. I love the way this works, where it's magnetic, and then it's a compression fit, and then just undo that. You can really undo that with one hand sometimes you can get it like that but or you can just do that <coughs> you can operate this whole thing with one hand you don't need the other hand but there's one thing that makes it so nice because if you're on a ladder <coughs> or doing something with your other hand and you need to open it open something or cut something or file something, you know, whatever you need to do while you're holding something else and you have only one hand, this does what you needed to do. Flat out, no question. This is great. Overall, I think <coughs> Leatherman knocked out of the park with this one. I don't think they can, I don't know how they would ever be at the top of this, to be frank with you. That's the one thing I am very curious about because I don't think you can top this. The size, the compactness, and the utility of this. <coughs> For day-to-day, non-specialized needs is great. But yeah. I would highly recommend this, flat out. Oh, the pocket does reverse, by the way, if you are curious about the right or not. But that's really all I have for this video, this review. I do recommend this 100%. If you're looking for a all around great Leatherman, the hardest way to go, flat out. Um, <clears throat> anyways, please like the video, please subscribe, please. Follow the Instagram and like the Facebook page. Now, see you guys in the next video.